welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. Today we're going to be budgeting paycheck one. A little about myself. I am a military wife, a mother of two, and a stay-at-home mom. If you'd like to see how I budget for a family of four, please stay tuned. Oh, so before we start, I know in my last video I made like a little mistake in my calculation. And I wanted to go back and show that I made the correction, which is that I forgot to put Comcast of the $115.70. And then I added our fixed expenses and our variable expenses. And I put them down here with a total of $2,725.51, which really left us a negative $25.71 over budget so i just wanted to make that correction because i know like when i was doing the video because i filmed this part a little early and i was calculating and then i was like hmm this doesn't add up right so i made the correction and i just wanted to say but we are going to be budgeting paycheck one so we kind of found out that this is not what my husband is typically paid because of how he had a deduction on his paycheck. So, we're currently going to see how much that will be or how much we're supposed to really be paid from now on. But... That's really what was going on. So I budgeted. I usually budget um thirteen fifty, but um we only got paid less than what I usually budget for. And the funny thing about budgeting is that things always change regardless. If you get paid the same or, you know, some type of expenses always come out. Even if you always budget for things. So, we we'll put down our income. So, I'm going to change up how I usually do this a little. And you'll see as we continue. Now, let's zoom in. So the first, our income is my husband, and then just put London. And we actually got paid 1,097 dollars and 75 cents. We also have other and rollover. And myself of $230. Okay, so do that we're a little under what we were typically paid. I took out $230 to supplement our difference, which will bring our total to, let me get a calculator first to make sure I calculate all this right. So we're going to have $1,097.75 and cents plus $230 equals $1,327.75. So we're going to put next is our expenses, which is the thing that I'm going to change on my budget. So for the first paycheck, we have car insurance, um, sister-in-law, so 
cell phone. Next is Hulu. Water service. Audible. Adobe. Life insurance. And capital one. So hopefully this method works because this is the first time I'm going to try this and we're going to see how it works for me. And that's the one thing about budgeting is that you could try many different ways of doing things and you could always change it because of how you're trying to make it work for you and your family or you are just you. So we're going to draw our lines. So for car insurance, we budgeted $235. For sister-in-law, we budgeted $225. Cell phone, $115. Hulu, $35.97 is what we pay every month. Next is water service. For this month, I only budgeted $100 because if I ordered extra water. Adobe is $14.95. Um, Audible is $14.95 and Adobe is $20. Oops, it's $25. $25. Life insurance, which I don't know when it's going to come out or when the policy is going to start, but we're going to put aside um $112.93 and capital one is going to be $75. I forgot one more bill and that is Lab Corp. And I budget $42 for that. So let's do that again. Of $235 plus $125 plus $115 plus $35.97 plus $100 plus $14.95 plus $25 plus $112.93 plus $75 plus $42 equals $880.85. Next, we're going to look, put down our variable expenses. And for variable expenses, I have groceries, gas, dining out, personal spending, and I'm budgeted. So, yeah. I just wanted to see how this method works for me, but we're going to put groceries. Oops. Next is groceries, gas, 
starting out. Um, personal spending. And we're going to put um, budget it. Okay, so for this paycheck, we're only going to do uh, 175 in groceries. We're going to do 50 in gas, which I am really surprised gas is going up. Because I don't usually drive the car, and when I usually drive the car and I kind of run it down, I fill it back up. And I, like just recently pumped almost $31 into it. And I was like, whoa, that is a lot of money. And dining out, we're gonna be budgeting $60. Next is personal spending of $100. And that's gonna be $50 each for me and my husband. And on budget, we budget nothing. So, Let's calculate everything. 175 plus 50 plus 60 plus 100, which will give us $385. Next, we'll put down our fixed expenses, which is going to be everything that I put into savings. And there's not that much that's probably the reason why I wanted to do it this way because we're not going to be doing sinking funds this pay. So for our fixed expenses, we have my daughter, our daughter Penelope. Oops, and I spelled her name wrong. So we have my daughter, our daughter Penelope, P and E O P. Then we have Isaiah, and we're not stuffing Christmas. And oops. So that would be $40 for Penelope, oops, not 40 I think I changed it to 30 this time. So that's going to be 30 for Penelope and 30 for Isaiah, and that would give us $60. So, I think in this little s space, no, I think I'm just leave it like that. But yeah, let's zoom out. So yeah, this is how this paycheck one is going to look. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep continue with this format and layout. It was just to see how it may look. And I think that's the thing I wanted to just do is try and see how it work for my family. But if you like this video, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And also do not forget until the 13th of March, there is a 10% code. That is good for anything at my shop. And if you like what you see, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.